Hi, Buddy Yates from Palm Springs with a short tutorial on the Dodge Brothers vacuum tank. In the early days of motoring, a lot of different gas delivery systems were tried, uh, usually involving gravity. When the first Dodge Brothers car was introduced in November of 1914, the Dodge Brothers had, uh, were using a pressurized fuel system where a pump on the dashboard, hand-operated pump on the dashboard, would pressurize the gas tank at the back of the car, forcing gas up the line to the engine. Uh, by the late teens, early 20s, the Dodge Brothers switched over to the Stewart vacuum tank and used that up until <clears throat> well, the end, really, up until uh, Walter P. Chrysler bought the company and uh, fuel pumps became mechanical. If you go to the shop manual, you'll find a detailed description of how to adjust the vacuum tank and how it works. There's an outer chamber which contains a pint or so of gasoline and it dispenses that by gravity down to the carburetor. Then there's the inner tank, which has a little valve at the bottom. And this is the tank where the vacuum is created to suck the fuel from the gas tank up to this outer tank. And then when it gets there, it passes through that little valve at the bottom where it's waiting for use by the carburetor. It looks complicated at first with all of its springs and levers. This valve is just to turn the vacuum on and off. When the fuel level's high enough, the vacuum is shut off. No more gas is drawn up from the gas tank. When the gas level drops down, it opens the valve to the vacuum line and starts sucking gas up from the tank again. The vacuum is, of course, connected to the uh, carburetor, the low pressure side of the carburetor. The crux of the whole thing boils down to this. Half of this thing is filled with gasoline, and the other half's filled with a vacuum. If you have a leak of either of those two items, you're gonna have a bad day. When the vacuum is off, the tank continues to flow. I would call that a successful test of the vacuum tank. <laughs>